All right, now let's talk about how we can practice these different breaks. Um, every artist has their own riffs, breaks, fills, whatnot, right? So, but they, they have practiced them and they have used those, those breaks and fills and whatnot a lot. They've been using it and doing it for years, so they're able to pull it out and then throw it in wherever it is that they want to. Okay? So you need to feel comfortable taking these riffs, taking the ones from the Dr. John lesson, taking the ones from the Floyd Kramer lesson and whatnot, and being able to just pull them in wherever it is that you want. Now, if we just take these four right here, what we can do is we can just kind of go from one into the other into the other. So if I start with the first one, one, two, and I can just do this, this simple pattern just going back and forth on the C7 chord until I'm ready to come in with the next break. So here's two. back to two. Oops. Let's go back to one. One, two. Let's do mine, number four. Let's do four again. And what you might notice is as you're doing it, it might change, you might come up with something else. That's great. That's spur of the moment stuff. Now these are licks that I've, well, except for the fourth one, the, uh, the first three are ones that I've transcribed. So I can understand how it might feel weird for you to try and get these licks under your fingertips because it's the same thing for me. I mean, I haven't played these for years. I've only been playing them for a few minutes now, all right? But I have the ability to be able to do it much closer, much faster, because I've been playing licks that have been like this for years, all right? So the point is that it's easier to bring in new licks to your playing once you've been doing your own things and then you've been, you know, working your own licks for years and years. Now, unfortunately, I'm saying years and years because it does take a while to really get good at uh, playing this stuff. I mean, all the players that I'm uh, talking about on the site, Dr. John, Floyd Kramer, um, uh, uh, Johnny Rivers, whatnot, these are all guys that, you know, have been playing a long time and been doing this stuff probably since they were yay high. All right, so if you can't get this down in two or three weeks, uh, don't feel bad, all right? It will take a little while to do. Also, depending on your fingers, you might not be able to do exactly what's here. You might have to change it a little bit for your hand type and your hand structure and your hand size, all right? So don't feel as though you've got to, like, just cram yourself and cram your playing right into what's presented here, right? They might have big hands like I do as well, so they can reach this stuff without a lot of difficulty, all right? There's nothing wrong with... If you're gonna stay in that small stuff, all right, then work that and get really good at that. All right, anyway though, the point here of this chapter is that try moving between these different breaks. Go from three to one, to two to four, to one to four, and back and forth, all right? Get comfortable with that before you move on with the lesson, all right? You should be able to do this. You know, that simple just pattern back and forth. When I come back, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about some different patterns that you can do in the left hand, the right hand, that chordal stuff. Then we're going to talk about how to put the whole darn thing together, okay? So anyway, I'll see you in the next chapter.